So I wanted to show you my finished look of the day today. Oops, does that look weird? Hopefully not. Um, might look a little dark there in the corners. Uh, it's a little special just because it's very colorful and I wouldn't usually put on this much color first thing in the morning on a weekend morning for me. This Friday morning and I have Fridays off, so yay. Um, so I wanted to just show you how everything came out together. I don't know if you can tell, but I was um, just thought it'd be good to show you um, because I also like to um, get a little practice putting together a face on myself and using makeup and trying different colors and products on me because I don't do that very often. And so this is a good opportunity for me to kind of test out things so that when it comes time to actually wear something that I have some ideas and some practice, you know. So... What I did is, um, I was thinking, you remember I did a, a spring palette video, things I'm going to use this spring and summer? Well, I haven't used any of that stuff hardly at all. So I, one of those was my Stila palette. Um, this is the In The Moment palette, which I don't use very often at all. So I pulled this out. I thought it had blues, but it has purples. It has a lot of pretty purples and um this whole roll of neutrals, which I haven't used, but it makes me think of the uh, Pedro palette that I didn't get. <laughs> but uh, I used almost the whole uh, purple. I'm going to put this the way I, it is. Okay. So I used soft ochre paint pot, and then I used this light purple on the lid. I use this in the crease, I use this in the crease, and then I even use this in the crease, which is a really dark purple. Too bad it doesn't have a mirror on this palette. Um, and darkened it up just now. And then I played with one uh, Sephora eyeliner pencil that I'm trying out, these waterproof supposedly 12 hour pencils. This is a purple one and it has sparkle in it and then underneath I used a similar color with a, a little eyeliner pencil from Sephora which is pretty much the same color underneath threw on some um, mascara it was a very quick quick eye uh, having all these these colors go really well together and it made it very fast process and they're very smooth and blendable and then I used the MAC BB creams, the new compacts that I just got on my face, amber and golden. And then I used the uh, Maleficent MAC sculpting powder that I just showed in a demo. And then I picked up a blush out of my stash and I threw on a Becca, the Becca Songbird blush, which is so easy to spread. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it added a hint of color on my cheek. And then on my lips, I didn't exp I didn't particularly pick out this color, but I just picked up a lipstick. And it happened to be uh, Mangrove from the MAC Prenza Schuler collection. So here's how it came out. Very colorful. So what do you guys think? So I, I just appreciated the practice and what and I can look back on this video and see what I think of the color combination. Okay, take care. Bye.